the Snowdonia National Park is the land of the Great Little Trains of Wales. Wales is much to attract tourists whether it is a day visitor or someone coming for a long holiday. Mountains to climb, lakes to fish, and the sea on which to sail. The glorious scenery in which to rest a while with the caravan. As soon as the snows depart, so the boats and caravans head for the coast and country. The many small harbors, once crowded with sailing ships carrying slate and other commodities, now provide anchorages for small craft. Port Maddock Harbour, a short cruise into Cardigan Bay provides a marvellous vista of the Plain Peninsula, thickest and Harlech Castles, and the whole Snowdonia range, from Merle Hayburg and Snowden to Knifton and the Merwin. There is no need to be energetic to go to the top of Snowden. For the only steam worked rat railway in Britain takes you there without toil. It is still too early for the snow to have melted on the top section to the summit and trains have to stop short. Passengers walk up to see the snow blocking the line. several famous and beautiful castles. Carnarvon, scene of the Royal Investiture, whilst Cricket looks out across the corner of Cardigan Bay to Harlow, so often seen silhouetted on the skyline. The Fairborn Railway is the smallest of the sextet, forming the great little trains of Wales. Built to a gauge of 15 inch, it connects the Barmouth Point with the ferry across the river from Barmouth. history is one of Wales' many great beauties, whilst the coastline can be followed north and south to the areas of three of the other railways. British Rail ran their last ordinary steam train in 1968. They still have three steam locomotives in the two-foot gauge Vale of Rydal Line, which runs 12 miles inland from Aberystwyth. Beach 
which of the great little trains is different from the others. No two are alike in their track, trains, or organization. It was the fastinia of which a century ago was showing the world what could be achieved on a narrow gauge line. From Devil's Bridge Station, do not miss the walk to the falls. Tucked away are three picturesque bridges dating from the 12th century. Lambda Railway is almost entirely run by railway enthusiasts in their spare time. It has a track gauge of two to six inches, the same as the Zillapal Railway in Austria, from which it is required these coaches. front of the motor bus and private car, these small lines nearly all succumb to competition. Yet today it is the motor car that helps to keep them going. The Palace Rin Railway struggled on until 1915 when it seemed likely that it would close and be cut up for scrap as its owner had died. However, the engineer and author, Tom Rote, conceived the idea of running the Talat Lynn with the aid of volunteers, and so was born the Talat Lynn Railway Preservation Society. Its traffic has built up over the years, and this railway is now busier than ever. One of the Tallet Lynn's great scenic attractions is the ravine and falls at Dalgoth. The trains cross the ravine on a fine brick barber. are studying the boundaries of the area and the attractions of the Snowdonia National Park, including Dolgoth Falls. Only a short walk from the station is needed to see the bottom falls, at their best, of course, after heavy rain. in Irwin, the present terminus, is a much more pleasant station at which to linger now that there is a new refreshment building. Headquarters at Port Maddox Harbour Station.
scenes such as this are typical on all these railways at the height of the season. Shops for the sale of souvenirs and refreshments, both stations, postcards and guidebooks, as well as attractive mementos for trips, are available at various prices. Simeon was very closely connected with the development of a fairly articulated design of locomotives. To celebrate the centenary of the introduction of the first really successful example of these locomotives, the Persiniog Railway held special celebrations at Easter 1969. Alan Pegler, the chairman of the Persiniog Railway Company, is also well known for his locomotive Flying Scotsman. Local women folk dress up in their grandmother's clothes to provide atmosphere and colour. A visitor from the hills symbolises the spring. Films for TV and cinema newsreels give the railway the publicity which is part of the object of the celebration. Leaving Port Maddox, the Earl of Marianas pulls a Festinio train across the embankment, known as the Cobb, which at high tide can have water on both sides. At the end of the cob, the train swings round a curve past Boston Lodge Works for the railway and starts its continuous climb into the hills. Minford Station is the main interchange point for passengers to and from BR, whose station is immediately below. train goes on its way and, later, a down train arrives headed by Blanche. Menfus has attractive station gardens with a backlot of Snowden. A 
fairly double-ended locomotive rides more steadily than anything else on the line. A unique feature is that the fireman stands on one side of the boiler and the driver on the other. Special trains have to be run so that it is possible to cut back many of the higher hedges and brambles. Parties from Chase School, Enfield, come every year to help run the Fasciniog Railway. In high summer, there is a frequent service of trains. They cross each other here at Penryn or at Minford. Penryn level crossing, where motorists rush from their cars to photograph the little train. Harlock Castle stands out on the skyline. The Sineog has buffet cars on all of its trains. These are some of the very few to serve draft beer. And of course, tea or coffee, ices and soft drinks are also available. Railway newspapers can be sold to passengers at their seats. The modern corridor coaches enable passengers to walk through to the buffet car, and stewards can give service throughout the train. The Sineog railway route follows the contours of the hillside. And to get around the bowl of the hill, the train at one point actually heads towards Port Maddox, before doubling back on itself round the long whistling curve, so as to reach Tunnable Station on the far hillside. Tunnable, busy station. Some study and match with the route of the railway, while others just sit and watch. Up 
up and down trains usually pass one another, and many people join and leave them at Hannibal. Up trains normally take water here. Yeah? Cannibal is a beautiful spot for the well, and there is a nature trail to walk down with descriptions of the flora and fauna at various vantage points. Refreshments and tea rooms are fine views of the same now and across the Vale of Cassinia. Volunteers give valuable help on many of the tasks connected with the railway. The Sineog Railway Society has over 5,000 members who make a valuable contribution to the work of this line. Many coach firms run tours, including a trip on the Sineog Railway and most of them use Cannibal with one end of their journey on the train. <laughs> Above Cannibal, trains run a ledge in an open hillside, doing some of the finest views of the whole run. reopened in stages. Its old route has been flooded by the electricity authorities from storage scheme at Panagizia, and the new line has been built to take the railway through to fly the Sineos. The hill beside the station is a fine spot on which to have a picnic. Most of the work is being done by volunteers by hand, after holes are drilled with the help of some fresh air and charges exploded to break up the rock. Trees, which have to be felled to clear the way, are cut up to make fencing space. The 
wagons have to be manhandled up the hillside onto a new site. Mountaineer, an American boat locomotive recently acquired for the Piscineo, brings another train to Via. The station was originally built to serve a few isolated hill towns. It was their only communication other than by horseback or on foot. As there is no road access, we must take the train down to Hannibal to pick up our car. The train draws away from Campbell's platform, which serves the 400 years old manor house with historical connection. As it has no road access, the train will have great boon in the residence and their visitors. Senior trains run from snow, hail or sun from March to November. As one more end of season train runs up to here, we leave the Senior country.